Early portraits originally started in 1839 when Robert Cornelius took the first portrait photograph. Early people wanted to have their likeliness drawn by the sacred radiance of the sun. Early portrait photography then spread throughout the world. Many times the famous were photographed like a warrior or a king. Once the type of photography spread, it was used to record history, commemorate the dead, and create family portraits. Elizabeth Barrett said, several of those wonderful portraits, like engravings only, exquisite and delicate beyond the work of the graver, have I seen lately, longing to have such memorial of every being dear to me in the world. The photographs in the movement were typically black and white. They also were low quality due to the type of camera used. These photographs were often head-on and never candid. These photographs were taken strictly for the purpose of recording a portrait and not to record any deeper meaning. I long to arrest all the beauty that came before me and at length the longing has been satisfied. Julia Margaret Cameron. The daguerreotype was used to capture these portrait images. A dark room was needed to develop these photographs. The karyotype and carte de vesti were also used during this time. Carte de vesti means that the photograph was taken in parts, so the model could take different poses on one photograph. Bruce Davison said, all my photographs are portraits, self-portraits, because you cannot photograph someone without reflecting yourself. We always point the lens both outward and inward, Paul and Covernerga. In the mid-19th century, early travel photography became a new focus for photographers. Portrait photography never ended because we still use it today, but with different methods. Instead, photographers just found different interests, like photography. The overall impact of this movement transcended the whole world of photography. People could now have photos of their family and other relatives. Eventually this movement developed into showing expression and emotions besides only taking photographs to commemorate the dead and record history.